everyone. This particular elderly priest was probably the world's worst golfer. It's not me, by the way. One day he made a mighty drive and the golf ball was going straight towards the pin. It kept rolling as if drawn by a magnet and continued to roll till the pin hit the pin bang on and dropped straight into the hole. The astounded priest turned his eyes towards heaven and said, Lord, I'd rather do it myself. Human freedom is highlighted in today's first reading. Man has life and death before him. Whichever a man likes better will be given him. He's not talking here about physical death, over which we have ultimately no control, but spiritual death. Spiritual death is more often than not a slow, lingering process. It is said that if you drop a, a frog into a bucket of boiling water, he'll spring back out at lightning speed. But if he's put in a pot where the water is slowly heated, he'll stay in it to the very end and be scalded to death. Spiritual death is a bit like that. It brings us down little by little through a gradual misuse of our freedom. Our sins, you know, as somebody told me recently, slowly catch up with us. The century just gone had its share of notorious dictators. Now why did God allow evil tyrants to live, bringing death to millions? It's all to do with human freedom. God's gift to man. The angels too had freedom. They rebelled against God, some of them, in heaven, but they did so freely and they became demons. Adam and Eve freely gave in to the serpent and they were driven from paradise. Man, by misusing his freedom, is capable of the basest deeds, but by using it in line with God's will, he can reach the heights of virtue. Freedom is not doing what you like, but doing what God likes and from the heart. Jesus tells us in today's Gospel that the sin of lust, for instance, can take hold of a man's heart and mind and eclipse his freedom. In other words, he can't say no or control himself anymore. Jesus says that anyone who commits sin and keep committing it is a slave. The devil wants to bind us in sin, but Jesus wants to unbind us and give us back our liberty. Human slavery is on the rise these days and is controlled by the powers of darkness. But freedom is not about obeying external rules either. That can be another form of slavery. Jesus says in today's Gospel, if your virtue goes no deeper than that of the scribes and Pharisees, you won't get into heaven. For them, keeping external rules was the priority, but their hearts were hard. They cleaned the outside of the cup, but inside was another story. Freedom to love as Jesus loves comes from the inner man or woman, the very place where real freedom resides. I was reading on the paper not long ago where a man from Pakistan was arrested for converting from Islam to Christianity. Now some of the Muslim clerics told him he must reconvert. But he loved Jesus so much that he stood his ground and vehemently refused to change his mind. That's freedom. Even threatening him didn't work. You have to admire people with backbone like that. Free will is a beautiful gift, which if used responsibly will prove our worth as Christians and earn us the reward of everlasting life. At the last judgment, we will be judged on how we've used or abused our freedom. The choice is ours. Now, thank you very, very much from listening and God bless you all.